Modern-day historians have linked the Queen with the South African Kingdom of Saba which is the present-day Yemen, but they are yet to confirm the Queen's true and original route. Queen of Sheba, who is also known as Bilquiz and Bilakijan, was identified as one of the few women who found a place in old wives' tales and history texts. Perhaps she was the most prominent biblical legend. Biblical story of Queen of Sheba who was allegedly buried in Ijbu Ode. In the Queen's time with King Solomon, she was so astounded by the luxury and advancement of his court, as well as his wisdom, that she offered her respect for the King and the God of Israel, Yahweh. She reportedly gave large amounts of gold, rare wooden spices and precious stones in tribute to King Solomon. She was described as a dark-skinned queen, who did not just travel far to listen to the wisdom of King Solomon but reportedly converted to his religion and had a child for the king. According to an Ethiopian account, the baby was named Melanokai he is said to be the forerunner of the Solomonic dynasty, an imperial house that ruled Ethiopia for centuries until their deposition in September 1974. However, parts of her gifts were used to build King Solomon's throne and the temple in Jerusalem. One of the uncommon tales of Queen of Sheba was her route being traced to a town in Ogun State, Nigeria, Ijibu Ode to be precise. The Ijibus claim she was a noble woman popularly known as Ilobila Kijan Sangbo. In Ijibu Ode, there are old-fashioned walls and ditches over 160 kilometers long known as Sungbo Zarito. The locals claim that it was erected in her honor. It was reported that her grave is located way into the bush in an area called Okiri. It is surrounded by white walls with a message at the gate welcoming visitors to the seat of Her Royal Majesty, Bilakijan Sungbo. Her grave is reportedly enclosed by a small gate in front and on the sides by a small fence made with iron bars, punctuated by small cement pillars with Arabic inscriptions on them. However, the people of Ijibu Ode see late Queen of Sheba as something more than a noble woman. To them, she is a goddess and a compassionate woman. There are many facts that stand against those who claim that she was buried in Ijibu Ode. Also archaeologists have shown that Bilakijan Sungbo and the monuments built in her honor came centuries after the biblical accounts of the Queen of Sheba. Entrance to the place where Queen of Sheba was reportedly buried in Ijibu Ode, Ogun State. Till date, her true origin still remains unknown to many. People still ask themselves where are her remains? In Ethiopia or Yemen? where locals say she reigned for decades. Was the Queen of Sheba buried in Najbu?